In this video, I want to talk about the parametric equation of a circle. Okay, so you should know the equation of a circle. Uh, the general form of an equation of a circle is x minus h squared plus y minus k squared is equal to r squared. Now, this is called a Cartesian equation. This is a, called a Cartesian Cartesian, I, rem I think it was a mathematician, Cartesian equation. Now, there's a problem with this equation in the sense you're defining the equation with respect to the center and the radius. Okay. Now, okay, so I'll explain the problem later. So let's work with this equation. So what happens if I say divide the whole thing by r squared? So let me do. So this is also a good revision for your algebra, uh, sorry, trig. So I'm going to divide the whole thing by r squared. I'll tell you why. So y minus k, the whole squared over r squared is equal to 1. Okay, so what is happening now? So this is the same as writing x minus h over r the whole squared plus y minus k over r the whole squared is equal to 1. Okay, now this is a form which is can be used for a trig form. Now for the trig in, trig, uh, in trigonometry and one of the basic identities cos squared theta or let's say cos squared t plus sine squared t, so let me write theta, okay. They use uh, theta, we'll explain. So cos squared theta plus sine squared theta is equal to one. So I see a one on the right hand side and I'm going to, and I also see in squared here, a squared here. So what if I say let, let cos theta, cos theta is equal to x minus x, x minus h over r. Okay, now if you make x the subject, I hope you should be able to understand this directly. If you make x the subject, x is equal to r plus h cos theta. Okay, and if you let sine theta is equal to y minus k over r, and if you make y the subject, this implies y is equal to r plus h cos theta. Now I told you there's a problem with the Cartesian form in the sense, if you want to find, uh, so the Cartesian form defines a circle with respect to the center and the radius, whereas a, part, a parametric equation defines x and y in terms of theta. And that is useful. Okay, so let me explain that. Suppose if you draw a circle, okay, if you draw any circle, so let me draw a circle somewhere here. Now, if you consider, if you consider this point, uh, I can draw it better. Let me draw a better job of drawing a circle. I hope you understand that the problem with this is if you want to find the x coordinate and the y coordinate when a particle, suppose this is a particle P and it is rotating around the circle in an anti-clockwise manner. And if suppose the particle has moved say theta degrees and you want to find the x and the y coordinate and that's what uh, is useful in many situations. You want to find what's the x and the y coordinate when the particle has moved theta degrees. If, because h and r, this should be k, sorry, I made a mistake here. This should be k. Hmm. It's good always to check your answer. So r plus k cos theta, and x is r plus h cos, uh, Again, I've done a mistake here. This should be sine theta. 
Okay, so so basically, yeah, H and R, H, R and K are constant. H and K are the center, H and K are the center, and R is the radius. So if you know the center and the radius, if you know the coordinate of the center and the radius, you can find the X and the Y coordinate for a given theta. So what is changing, so let me repeat it again. So what is changing is X and Y changes as theta changes or the angle changes. So the, you can, in other books, you can also write this, the parameter as T. The same thing can also be written in terms of T. And that's what your calculator would give you the parametric equation of a circle in your book or in your calculator would be, you can also write like this, H cos T plus R and Y is equal to K sine T plus R. So it's also easy to remember. X, sorry, H is the x coordinate of the circle and cos if you remember is the x coordinate of the circle so i hope you can relate this okay so how how can we do i'm going to pause this i'm going to go back to this question once if you have understood this coming back to this question even if you haven't understood anything i explained previously let's look at this question if you know a bit of trigonometry you can do this so the question is write the Cartesian equation of this parametric equation so let me write it here x is equal to negative 1 plus 3 cos t okay the calculator will draw this by, uh, by just entering it I'll show this on, on a calculator uh, or also on Desmos so if you make uh, it can be right like this. If you make cos t the subject, I hope you can understand this is x plus 1 divided by 3 is equal to cos t. Okay, so I'm making cos t the subject here. And the second equation is y is equal to 5 plus 3 sine t. So if you make sine t the subject, can I write y minus 5 over 3 is equal to sine, sine of t? Sine t. So now I know a trick identity relating cos and sine, which is cos squared t, or yeah, cos squared t plus sine squared t is equal to 1. And this is where you can see the application of trigonometry. So cos t is this. So cos squared t would be, I hope you understand, x plus 1, the whole squared over 9, plus y minus 5, the whole squared over 9, is equal to 1. Now multiplying by 9 to each of them, x plus 1, the whole squared plus y minus 5 the whole squared is equal to 9. So basically this is a Cartesian form so from this you can see the center. I'll show this on Desmos why is this parametric equation useful. So center is negative 1 comma 5 and the radius is 3. Okay now the question is T is the angle that the particle has moved in a circle. So let me so let me sketch this. Suppose this is a circle with center negative one comma five. This is center com negative one comma five. Now I want to find what is this x coordinate what is the x and the y coordinate when say this is a particle P and this is a p this is p naught and this is p1 this particle has moved say 30 degrees and you want to find the x and the y coordinate so you have to just go the x coordinate by substituting here would be let me do it here so the x coordinate 
would be negative 1 plus 3 cos 30. Okay, and in a, in a, on Desmos, you have to put this in radians, so this will be minus 1 plus 3 cos 30 pi by 180, or pi by 6. Okay, and y coordinate would be minus 1 plus 3 sine 30. You can do this also on your calculator, which is minus 1 plus 3 sine, sine 120, 360, sorry, 30 pi over 180. Okay, so let, let me show this on Desmos. Uh, so the equation that was given, so let's, uh, you have to type in like this bracket, uh, bracket, what's the equation? Uh, minus one plus three sine t. So you have to start with mi minus one, sorry, minus one plus three cos t, sorry cos t and you have to put a comma and uh, what was the next equation y is phi plus 3 sine t so phi plus 3 sine t okay now here the domain so you have to change the domain so they have it has drawn if the t is between 0 and 1 that is t is radians, it is between 0 and 1. So if you change the domain, t is the angle, So if it, and t is in radians here. So if you go from 0 to uh, 2 pi is 6.28, so if you go up to 7, it will draw the whole circle. Okay, so this is the circle. So what's the center? The center is the radius is 3, the center is negative 1, comma, phi. So this is the center. And the radius is 3. Okay. Now the question was, what's the coordinate? What's the x coordinate, x and y coordinate, when the t or the angle it has moved is 30 degrees? So this is how you can do it on Desmos. Bracket, negative 1, plus 3, cos, put it in the bracket, uh, 30 pi, if you just type in pi pi, it will understand pi, slash 180, okay, and uh, put a comma there, uh, phi plus 3 sine, again you have to start with the bracket, 30 pi is pi, slash 180 and this is this point exact point this is this point so this is the center minus 1 phi or in other words when a particle has moved 30 degrees the coordinate x coordinate would be minus 1.598 and the y coordinate is going to be 6.5 okay so you can play with this and uh, understand uh, say this is this point so let me do one more. What will be the coordinate when it has moved, say, 75 degrees? So same way, bracket minus 1 plus 3 cos bracket 75 degrees, 75 pi, pi pi, slash 180. And then you have to move, you use your arrow key, and then you have to put a comma 5 plus 3 sine bracket 75 pi over slash 180. So this is this point. And it does make sense. Okay, so the x coordinate is this and the y coordinate is this. This exact point when a particle has moved 75 degrees.